Hey everybody. So today we get to dive into our Old Testament reading, which is Jeremiah uh, chapter 28. Uh, now the reading for Sunday was verses 5 to 9, but I'm going to say for this to get the full context, uh, we're going to read the whole chapter of uh, Jeremiah 28. Uh, but don't worry, it's only 17 verses. So you got this. Hit pause on that. Go ahead and read. And uh, don't forget the discussion uh, questions are in the comments. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so you'll notice that uh, the chapter begins with talking about a yoke. Um, now, again, to get context, you have to go back and read chapter 27. Um, and that's where it talks about this yoke. Um, and basically uh, what you find in Jeremiah's ministry is that God uses a lot of visual aids <laughs> to uh, help uh, the Israelites catch on to God's message now doesn't happen um but it's um it's it's very telling uh that god keeps using these visual aids with the israelites um because one remembering jeremiah's context uh so jeremiah is a prophet uh right before the babylonians uh come in uh sack uh, Judah and carry everyone off into captivity. Um, and Jeremiah is one of the lucky few who actually escaped this. Um, and visual aids um, is a technique uh, for teaching that is um, used a lot with young kids, um, like think three, four year olds, five year olds, um, to help get a point across. Um, so God through Jeremiah is definitely treating the Israelites like their children <laughs> in the way that uh, he keeps uh, using Jeremiah and uh, all these different uh, teaching techniques. And so the yoke is one of those. Um, so talking about the general concept of how the the law of God works on people um, and also the separation between believers and non-believers is our overarching uh, concept for the scripture readings of this week. So in chapter 28, you have a false prophet, Hananiah, and a prophet of God, Jeremiah. Um, now, Hananiah is, is telling lies. Um, and he's being so bold um, that he's actually uh, giving a uh, time stamp <laughs> to it. Um, and he says everything will come to pass in two years. Um, and Jeremiah basically uh, calls him on the carpet um, at the very end of uh, this reading. Um, and especially uh, in verse uh, 9, uh, where he says, as one truly sent by God, only if his predictions comes true. Uh, so Jeremiah is like, look, buddy, um, we're going to know if you're telling the truth uh, basically in two years, because now you've given a timestamp to it. Um, and of course, uh, we know that Hananiah is uh, lying uh, from if we, if we realize uh, Israel's history. So we have Hananiah as the unbeliever um, character in this, um, teaching false uh, doctrine uh, falsely in God's name. Um, and then you have Jeremiah contrast as the believing character. Um, and Jeremiah has a really hard job because he has to tell the Israelites that they've sinned, they need to repent, judgment's coming. Um, and so Jeremiah is just like law, 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 law. 
um, because the the work of the law is to call God's people to repentance. Um, and so this is where, where the law comes in. And uh, Jeremiah is reminding uh, the Israelites that God is faithful, um, that, you know, he's talked about uh, this uh, punishment uh, before. And just as God is faithful in keeping his promises of a savior um, and forgiving his people, he is also faithful in carrying out the judgment of sin. Um, now, of course, that's uh, as relevant then with Jeremiah as it is today, right? Um, we sin and there are repercussions for our sin. Uh, yes, you know, we are forgiven. Uh, you know, if we, if we steal something, uh, we ask for forgiveness, we are forgiven. But there are still uh, repercussions, uh, consequences for stealing. Um, and so this is what we um, see with God. Uh, he has promised that he will... Um, punish the Israelites for their poor, poor <laughs> decisions, their uh, sinning. Um, and so now here uh, comes the consequences. Now, just um, like how, again, we get the judgment, um, and that's uh, talked about in chapters 27 uh, and then 28 of Jeremiah, we also get in chapter 29 of Jeremiah uh, the uh, proclamation of uh, salvation, of forgiveness, of the faithfulness um, of God to do uh, good for his people. Um, and then, of course, you know, Jeremiah chapter uh, 29, verse 11 is one of those uh, great examples of those verses. Um, and so... If you wrap all this up, um, as far as the uh, grander view of how this fits into uh, the readings for this week, we've got Hananiah and Jeremiah as the personifications of a believer and a non-believer, uh, non um, and also the um, call to repentance and then uh, the work of the law on people as far as uh, the punishment for their sins. So there you go. There's uh, the reading from uh, Jeremiah. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.